What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. I'm back again with another solar video for you. This time we're going to answer, is solar going to be the main source of energy generation for the majority of the planet someday? Before we get into that really quickly, I want to give a shout out to Behemoth Inferno for recommending that I get a pop filter. Uh, for my microphone. I've wanted to do that for a while, I just keep forgetting, and he reminded me, and now I have one. So hopefully the audio is a little bit better. Anyways, back to the question at hand, is solar going to be the energy of the future? And the answer is yes, and no. Let me explain what I mean. In its present form, solar isn't going to work. There are several challenges or hurdles that need to be cleared before it's ready to be leaned on for the majority of the Earth's power needs. First, solar needs to be more efficient. Silicon wafer-based solar panels are pretty inefficient, and despite lots of R&D, significant improvement has not and will not happen. We need a new material or another technology to get us past this barrier. Now the reason that efficiency is a problem is that not all of us on this planet live in a place with a sunny climate. And not everyone that lives in an area with plenty of sun hours has a large roof that faces in the right direction. To illustrate what I mean, a 6 kilowatt system using the most efficient panels on the market will take up at least 360 square feet on your roof. That's about the footprint of an average two-car garage. So we need solar panels that can extract more energy with less input and can do it in a smaller footprint. The next issue we need to solve is energy storage. By its very nature, photovoltaics only produce energy when the sun's shining and its rays are hitting solar panels at an appropriate angle. So we have to be able to produce enough energy in 4-8 to eight hours typically to last us the rest of the 16-20 to 20 hours of the day, and that energy has to be stored somewhere. Like solar, improvements in lithium battery technology have slowed down. It's still the best option for storage and is quickly becoming the go-to choice for off-grid energy storage but it just isn't going to be good enough as it is now for global use. And last but not least, the price of solar panels needs to be affordable for everyone. Right now, the majority of homeowners would have to take out a loan to purchase a solar panel system that meets 100% of their needs. In 2016, the median savings for an average American household was $7,000. That amount of money would only purchase about 2.5 kilowatts of solar production which is capable of producing about 11.25 kilowatt hours of energy on an average day. But the average American household needs 28.5 kilowatt hours of energy every day. The good news is that the price of solar panels has been dropping steadily for years. As the demand for solar grows, the production will go up and prices should go down. But the solar panels are only half the battle. We also need the cost of inverters, charge controllers, batteries, and mounting racks to go down too. So if these challenges can be met, solar has high potential to be the energy of choice for the next hundred years. The sun provides us with limitless energy every day. It's a reliable technology, and the panels themselves last for decades. There would be less investment necessary for transmission and distribution systems by municipalities and utility companies to serve homes with power. This is especially true in rural areas since each home would be producing power on site. And solar reduces our dependence on foreign nations for fossil fuels. Who knows, maybe there'll be more world peace. I can dream, right? So yes, I believe solar's the energy of the future. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and thanks for watching.